Okay, hello and welcome. Welcome to another edition of Inside the Hangar Bay. Uh, this week I'm going to be showing you a quick Photoshop tutorial. So here we go, we're just going to start with Photoshop is now open. This is CS2. Um, now what I want to show you today is the blending option. Uh, the blending option is an interesting uh, tool that I found not too long ago. Um, now I'm going to find uh, an image to show you. Uh, let's have a look here. We need some. Okay, so this is a, a imperial emblem that I uh, found on the internet. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that image onto the uh, background here. So the easiest way to do that, if you've got a single color on a white background, is to use the magic wand tool, which is over here. Click on the color that you want. So now it's clicked on, it highlighted the black. You go to edit, copy. And I'm going to paste it into this image here. Now I want to change the color, I want that to be white, so I'm going to invert that image by going to adjustments and invert, and now that will make it white. Now the blending option you will find on the layers tab. Now you'll see there you've got two layers, you've got the background layer and layer one which is the logo. When you right click you get a menu come up and you've got different options there. One of the options is blending options. When you click on that, a, another uh, menu uh, will come up and it will give you lots of different options. Drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, inner glow, bevel and emboss, satin, color overlay, gradient overlay, pattern overlay and stroke. Now I tend not to use these ones down here, but I tend to rely on these, these ones above quite a lot. So let's start with the first one, that's drop shadow. Click on that. And at the moment you can't see anything, but when you click on the drop shadow, another set of uh, tools come up. Now I'm going to go. I'm going to click on the distance, and you'll see what happens there. The shadow will move uh, a distance away. The spread, which intensifies the uh, shadow, and size, which will blur the shadow. So I'm going to spread it a little bit, darken it down. You can also change the direction of the uh, the shadow as well. There you go. You now have a drop shadow. I'm going to invert the image back to black again because this will show you the uh, other options. So I'm going to adjustment and invert. So now we've got a black image. So you can go back to blending options. I'm going to add a glow. In a glow. So I want to change the color of that. So I will click on blue. Give it a nice little blue glow there. And there you have a blue inner glow. You've got outer glow as well, which is a similar thing. And you've got bevel and emboss. Now, that will give you, again, several different options. You've got depth. That gives it uh, more clarity. Size. That uh, obviously adds to the size. Soften, which kind of mellows it out a little bit. And you've got chisel. And you've got chisel soft. So I tend to use the hard chisel bring the depth down a little bit and the size down and there you go okay so now you have a nice uh, symbol there so you can also uh, apply those options I'm going to now get rid of that uh, symbol there by you see that eye symbol there you click on that and the uh, the layer disappears now one thing I would say if you're working with Photoshop is never delete a layer just turn it off when you save the image as a JPEG any layers that you've not uh, that you aren't, can't see won't be saved. Save the th save the uh, image as a PSD so that you can work on it another time. You keep a template and you keep all the elements in place. Uh, now I'm going to work on some text. So I will now have a white text. There we go. And I'm going to enter in. I'll use the favourite text for Imperial Shipyards, which is called Episode One. There we go. I'll make the text a bit larger. Sorry, move that in the middle. There we go. Now, well, again, we'll use the blending options and I'll show you what can be done with the text. So we we'll go to blending options. I want to give it a bit of a drop shadow. So I will add to the bit of the distance there, spread it a bit, and there you go. If you can see the subtle difference, it does raise it from the background. Again, I will use the um, bevel and emboss. I'll give it a chisel bevel. And give it some depth. There you go. 
there you have a very nice very smart text you can apply these um, options to any layer it, an image anything if it's one layer on top of another you can apply the blending options what I would recommend if you are keen on working with Photoshop then just mess about with the blending options it's a really really uh, valuable tool for working and making banners and working with text and just generally in improving the uh, image and making it look more professional um, so there you go that is my uh, tutorial for this week have a very good week and I will speak to you again very soon